everyone welcome to the update of 9th of july i nearly call every day crazy these days but today was an exception it was super crazy first a quick update the video i released yesterday night is doing pretty well do watch it if you are interested in the it industry today's sector of the day was auto maruti up 7% mahindra and mahindra 2.6% tata motors did not reflect the euphoria which was created by the move by up where they are reducing taxes on environment friendly vehicles but what if i bring in a conspiracy theory here let's tie three stories together yesterday i talked about rbi saying microfinance lenders go slow in bihar and up which means in up if you give a loan of 40 50000 for income generation to poor people then they might default don't give the loans today mahindra and mahindra reduced the top xuv 700 model price by nearly 2 lakh rupees to 19.5 lakh 2 lakh reduction in price pan india for next 4 months that is till the festive season kicks in the third story which went unnoticed and no one talked about it today also there is unsold inventory of 60000 crores with car makers now is it making sense this is not a celebration move for the auto industry think about the people who bought vehicles at these prices when there were no price cuts think about the people who bought these stocks today without knowing this particular news which is of 5th july so the cuts by governments are moves perhaps to revive the industry to make sure that the sector or the economy does not go into a recession note that fidi did not join the yes bank celebration they did not join the auto celebration either today the purchase sales values were pretty normal for both players fis as well as dis business as usual day the entire month has been ordinary till now we are done with one third of the month the graph today which probably did not make any money for anyone today is sbi didn't go literally anywhere but look at the movement 860 to 855 went up to 870 and then came back where it started the vix meanwhile has been going up steadily last 15 minutes market witnessed a mini crash today and the vix reflects that the nifty was up a lot today among huge volatility i'll discuss the graphs also half a percent up bank nifty expiry tomorrow 0.27% up do take this value as a pinch of salt i'll discuss the bank graphs nifty it was down today fis have been on a buying spree which means they are not selling effectively because the values are not very high nifty energy was down a bit today next 50 was up a lot 0.5% in tandem with nifty the noticeable stocks today were reliance icici bank itc SBI also, but the value does not reflect the huge movement and turbulence. Gold was up 0.2 percent. Silver up again. Silver has been on fire. Bitcoin continued the upward journey from yesterday. Rupee strengthened a bit. Brent weakened by 0.7 percent. U.S. markets had an okay kind of day. Nvidia was up 2 percent. Let's talk about volatility. Reliance closed about 3200 yesterday. It started around 3190, went down to 3160. then nearly recovered everything it lost and then steadied tcs choppy in a range of 20 points hdfc look at the up move in the beginning part and then continuous downward move slight spike towards the end icici is in no mood to pause it started a bit gap down but then went up whole day atl choppy sbi left many investors including me poor today in the last minute or two it fell like anything this was more than a percent kind of fall infosys was range bound in 10 points not much happening there after consolidating for several months itc is on an up move the falls in some of the stocks like itc sbi atl in the last 5 10 minutes were pretty severe even tcs reliance so nearly everything gave up their gains corrected a bit more towards the end leading to a sharp fall towards the end in nifty as well as bank nifty with an exception of union bank which just went up and consolidated nearly all public sector banks went up but corrected sharply including sbi towards the end the biggest fall today in the index was in irfc 3% down but the banks were doing pretty well overall the sector was up 0.15% the entire 52 week spread for this sector is haywire defense stocks may have spoiled the party for many people today hal fell bl fell but then corrected musgaon doc v this is crazy movement of 300 points on both sides today same with grsc fell a lot consolidated then went up so a lot of people who saw these stocks falling and probably exited would have kind of felt very silly towards the end of the day despite the gains towards the end 
look at the big cuts the sector was down 1% but the volumes were high only for HAL and BL suddenly the 100% line is moving a little towards the left metals have been looking weak for a long time I exited my positions in NMDC today right now I hold only a bit of Hindustan copper in the entire metal pack IT sector persistent was up today also 1% in the video which I released yesterday I talked about persistence acquisition and its impact on the balance sheet of persistent I feel that the euphoria is overdone here and persistent might be in for a correction very soon unless there is a new acquisition or something big coming up which is not public yet. Overall Zomato was up but nearly everyone else was marginally down. The sector did not go anywhere 0%. That too on shallow volumes. The power pack the big players did not move much but there was a lot of action in the players below. This particular sector was up 1% but Reliance and ONGC both were down so the Oil pack was down a lot. MRPL was on fire today. Today's market depth was better than yesterday. 21 sectors up compared to 13. The best contribution came from automobiles followed by insurance, food and tobacco, electrical utilities. The indices were being dragged by oil and gas, aerospace and defense, metal and mining, food and drug retailing. Market depth was good. 17 stocks down, 33 up. Leader of the pack, Maruti up 6.7% followed by ITC, ICICI Bank, M&M, Sun Pharma. The Lagards were led by Reliance, TCS, ONGC, Bajaj Finance, Infosys. Mostly average to low volumes for the entire sector. Maruti's volumes were highest, 300%. Next 50 also 17 stocks down, 33 up. The volumes of the top players, LIC, Adani Green, IOC, BL, Varun Beverages, they were pretty high. What was up most? Bosch, PI Industries, Zomato, Shri Cements, LIC. So new hands joining the party now. What was down? IRCTC, HAL, Procter & Gamble, Godrej, Dmart. PSU Bank Index was on fire today. My trades for the day, I bought ITC. This was missing in my portfolio. I was skeptical about ITC whether to buy it or not because I don't like their hotel and paper business. Also their FMCG business does not compete well with Britannia. But there is anticipation that cigarette prices will get hiked this time and as a result ITC has been going up. I sold off VBL. The prime reason is my holding size was pretty big. VBL was up today and it has been up only 5% in my portfolio in the last 15-20 days of holding. I wanted to free up a bit of cash because I have invested a lot in the previous days. I'll buy it back again if the stock corrects a bit and I get back to the price where I had bought this particular lot. RVNL was down a bit today. I exited 50% of it. I used it as a hedge against the trades that went wrong to make up for the losses. I forgot to write. I also sold off my stake in NMDC today. This was sold in loss. This is in the sold section. So, so all thanks to the movement of SBI, which was like this today. I today lost my conviction because SBI was pointing at 900 levels. I had kept a stop loss ticked one today at 870. At this stage, my losses had already mounted to 1.8 lakh. And just like the moves yesterday, if this had moved to 880, the losses would have touched 4 lakh. This is not because of huge price difference but because the quantity was very high. So today I lost conviction and I fell for the short squeeze. I squared off the positions at the worst loss highest one for the day 1.8 lakh. Overall for the day 20k loss in an MDC, 185k loss in options. 65k profit in RVNL, 75k profit in VBL and there is about 85k profit which I have earned net in FNO during the entire financial year. All of this is now 20k left in the FNO kitty. So if I want to continue, I'll have to earn and add money to this basket. I have decided this year that I will not put fresh money from my pocket into FNO. That is where I had to sell the RVNL positions as a hedge to fund this loss. Overall, I was predicting this to be red since Friday. Tried hard to rescue but couldn't. That is the stubbornness of SBI. I'll show you something very interesting in the graph today. The cash position was in profit only. Overall, the day was green only between options and cash combined. So where I got stuck today was during this downfall, I thought that SBI will not go up a lot today. And I bought a bit more around this level which exhausted the reserves and I could not average down further. After that, SBI just went up continuously. I usually don't keep stiff stop losses. SBI went up 2% from the day's low here. Then it went down a bit, but again started rising. This is where I felt that this may go to 880 because the data is indicating 900 levels also. 
this was the scary part my maximum loss was nearly 6 lakh rupees today so around 130 my patients ran out and i just exited at market prices but immediately after that look at sbi especially the last five minutes or so this is a fall from nearly 862 levels here to 850 if i had held on to the conviction which i had this 1.8 lakh probably would have been hardly 40,000 at the end of the day which i could have recovered tomorrow after being in the stock market for close to two decades these kind of losses do not shake me however the kind of crazy movements and synchronization we are seeing for example most of their day reliance was down but icici and sbi were keeping the market afloat suddenly reliance started to go up a bit so these kind of movements which are basically clearly keeping nifty afloat in a range taking it gradually up to keep the retail investors interested and invested these moves are destroying the market right now because slowly and slowly in trickles people are losing money right now in fno in cash one large fall will wipe out significant amount of wealth the mutual fund guys will just change the ad mutual fund sahi hai will become market may up down to laga rehta hai but the cricketers will not tell you how much of their portfolio is invested in mutual fund ever thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow